uh, Beatrice, as far as we were told that we were going to have seed money or I'll say some investment made by the government of Ghana to this project, of course, we all know supposed to have been a private undertaking. Then the interest of the taxpayers becomes paramount. Um, Roland, I think that if you are watching us this morning, you should be very worried for Ghana. Why, Beatrice? And the Shrad report makes me sick in my tummy. And I say this because with all the pain in me, you would normally realize that when we are going into an election, mm -hmm. two weeks or 11 days into an election, mm -hmm. what we will be discussing is what the government has done, given the resources, this is what the opposition says it will do. And to all credit to our democracy from 1992, there has been some high levels of discussion, especially in the last days to election. What's your point with this? My point is this, is that for us to be discussing National Cathedral this morning, it shows you the misplaced priority of this government. It shows you how this government has gambled with the future of the many people. And if you are watching me as a young person, you ought to be worried and sick in the stomach. Because? Because the report by Shraj is telling us that the total sum that government intended to commit to this national cathedral was $312 million and over. And so government knew from the time it awarded the contract to Ribadi that the total sum was above $312 million. And then they came to lie to the people of Ghana that they were only providing seed capital. In fact, they came from a position of we were not going to fund it with state resources to we were only providing seed capital to expending in excess of $58 million on this whole. It's not even a cathedral. And when I say this, you hear government communicators say that, oh, you know what? We disagree with the portion that says that they should be subjected to um, procurement and so many weak defenses when it comes well, the to... Well, the argument is a private entity. See, maybe the person has not read the report of Shraj. I have with me here the report. The report says that the National Cathedral was incorporated as a private company, limited by guarantee, with its sole corporate member being the Ghana Museum and Monuments Board, a government agency. And so although it was incorporated as a private company limited by guarantee, it was public in nature. But do you, do you know the weakness in this argument? You have incorporated a private company mm. and you are using public funds for the benefit of this private company. And you are saying that, oh, because it is incorporated as a private company, it is okay that we misuse public funds. What What's your that? point? That because we're using taxpayers' money? It, it, yes, it doesn't matter the nature in which it was incorporated. What the test is, is what is the source of the fund. And so you use our taxes. And you know, this thinking and logic is in tandem with how this government has shortchanged us in many corruption cases. This National Cathedral was only to swindle and dwindle God Use the name of God to enrich their. Oh, Beatrice, how can you uh, say let me that? tell you. The Did Shrad you the report. The Shrad that report this was supposed to be the a Shrad, promise being made see, to God. As of that president, he doesn't have integrity. Let's not talk about the president. This president, I don't know even if you don't take it, you would describe him in words you should never describe him on in TV. So let me ignore the president. See, the national the, the Shrad report is telling us that the National Cathedral used in excess of two hundred and twenty-five million. CDs to just do site preparation, architectural drawing, and whatever. Isn't it because they wanted to award Ajayi? I have built a house before, and everybody who has built a house knows that you don't pay an architect upfront before even the completion. So now that the architect has only dug a hole, 
are we going for our money for the act from the architect when you are supervising a building you even pay in stages so they only wanted to use this to enrich their cronies look at how the pds scandal was incorporated private company was supposed to come and take over our assets they then went to take a fake and fraudulent guarantee from a company called alcoot that never existed and then they came to defraud us today as we speak all the light bills that we paid we cannot find them look at how they incorporated ejapa ejapa was supposed to be a certain company which was float shared look at the sml deal where a private company was incorporated to siphon money from gre which is why you're trying to draw analogy i'm towards. trying to say that this national cathedral it's only part of a bigger scheme by this government to siphon state resources. So they move from church to electricity to our goal to every aspect. You should be sick in the stomach. This is not MPP NDC. You know, just by the National Cathedral, you have the Rage Hospital. The total cost of the Rage Hospital is $260 million. At the time when we were building the Rich Hospital, this government said that the Rich Hospital was so inflated. And I remember Dr. Baobian saying that they would have built a Dubai medical city. Today, you could not complete the phase two of Rich Hospital, but you were willing to invest $312 million in a national cathedral that has become a swimming pool. Yeah, UGMC, at, over, at 612 bed or so, was 217 million the cost of the national cathedral outweighed the cost of the ugmc it's outweighed the cost of the ghana maritime hospital the bank of ghana hospital the dodowa hospital these hospitals are mentioned are trying to i'm trying to a lack I'm, of priority i'm trying to tell you that this money. government never had you and i in mind look at the japadier document for all intents and purposes, they intended that they would scam the people of God. And, and I'm so sick in the stomach that women are lying on the floor. You say that you want to um, operationalize Agenda 111. Do you know that the cost of the National Cathedral could have built and operationalized 18 Agenda 111? Because by their own estimates, Agenda 111 was supposed to cost $17 million per hospital. So if you were to do the calculation, you even get changed. 18 Agenda 111 in 18 different districts would have been operationalized. Today we are here with nothing to show. The new levels of law, and I don't know why this government they can't hear anything, you they can't see, they can't see anything, they can't, they, they simply cannot hear any wrapping up. Look at us, the IMF is going to meet in December, and when they meet in December, do you know what they are saying? They want to give Ghana 360 million dollars to help stabilize our economy. So, we are going to the IMF for 360 million. As part of our tranches, we are to receive. And government was willing to commit in excess of 312 million into a national cathedral. If you are watching me this morning and you are undecided about voting against the MPP, then all is not well. These group of guys, they do not have the economy at heart. They do not have your health at heart. They do not have any aspect of your life. They want to enrich themselves at the detriment of the Ghanaian taxpayer. And then when you are asked, they will tell you, oh, in accordance with this law, what have we breached? Roland, we are tired. We are tired of governments not being, don't do anything. I'm sitting here, ask this gentleman, what is the record? What one regional hospital? One regional hospital in 16 regions have they built. Yesterday one they regional... inaugurated four hospitals. Uh, right. uh, we covered uh, it. Polyclinic also, those are the things. You've had access to in excess of one trillion. You are telling me your economy is one trillion. This government has borrowed 620 billion more. And look at the new mediocrity. Look at what Nanado is going to commission bridges and things. The new law, the new law is the MPP. We must not allow this Daniel government Sopo. to toy with our future. It is sick. We are tired, and the corruption stinks. Sopo, now you know, you... Uh, Roland. One minute. Well, I, you see, I gave now you, a you know, you know what Beatrice. you know what this government has done. Yeah. They have just trapped all these men of God. Now they are saying that there should be a forensic audit and prosecute the likes of Duncan Williams. Um, that he was, that's what Shrad is saying. What is their crime? They were running their churches. Duncan, um, Duncan Williams and what's the name? 
the he he, no not isu anaba but you know in the rest oh press the, the, the lighthouse chapel okay. that man has a bigger auditorium than the national cathedral government just took the faces of these men of god use them to gain whatever and now look at them they have even resigned they are sick this is tiring and we must end it